Hello everybody, and you might be wondering what the hell I'm doing inside of a or in front of a giant tree. Well, I have some explaining to do because the <laughs> the series I wanted to start and I was super excited about starting ultimately ended in failure because my hard drive got corrupted and I had to wipe it completely. Um, but never fear because I got a new one. And that creeper is wearing a Santa hat. Uh, nope, it's got an apple in his face. Oh boy, what's going on? Okay, I killed it. That was weird. Anyway, um, yeah, so hard drive failed, crashed, whatever. Um, I have a diamond in front of my face. And um, we're starting up again. I had to create a new world. And this one is awesome because I found these two trees because my spawn point was like way over there. Um, so I walked this way and I saw on mini map that there was this giant like leaf area thing. So I was like, what the hell is that? So I walked over here, found these two giant trees, and I decided to make this one my house. So if we head upstairs, we will see that I have hollowed out a sizable portion of it. And I made this my temporary house. Well, kind of permanent house for now. Um, temporary in the sense that I'm not going to be here all the time. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be here all the time. This is mainly just for sleeping and possibly storage. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I decided to not make this first episode, well, I guess second episode, um, I decided to not make this a redo of the last one where I just kind of cut every like 30 seconds and went mining and then I forgot something and then I went mining again and there's a hole in my roof. Um, I don't have any raw wood, do I? Oh, I do. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, I don't want to make it one of those where I just kind of stand here and not stand here, but um, I don't want to go mining and have you guys have me cut every 30 seconds back to me saying oh yeah I've got this thing and I'll go back and do that um, so yeah that's my sleeping house and I will I uh, built another rope ladder um, so I had the second episode and third episode recorded and skeleton you're gonna die okay um, yeah, I had the second and third episode recorded but obviously I can't I didn't get a chance to upload them because my hard drive crashed. But never fear, we are back and better than ever because the mod pack is updated and things are better. No more crashing, I hope. And um, yeah. So, what I decided to do with this awesome sneaky creeper, um, what I decided to do with this awesome second tree is make this my machine room. Well, temporary machine room, I guess. Um, a lot of things are temporary. I don't know why they're temporary. Um, yeah, I got three iron furnaces, and I went mining earlier, and I got a lot of stuff. Because I didn't want to do that on camera, and I didn't really want to do it off camera, but I kind of had to. Because I didn't want to make this episode like I said before. Um, I didn't want to, I don't want to make this a repeat of the last one. So, what we're going to be doing today is continuing right when we left off with build craft and what we need to do is we need to get cables so cable 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 copper cable uh, I need that so we need a cutter we have a cutter yes we do um, what can I get rid of bones nobody likes bones alright so cutter copper no, what do we need this for? Okay, let's get some of this stuff out of here. Some of the stuff I don't necessarily need right now. So, uninsulated copper cable. I need copper plates. That makes sense. 18 copper plates makes 36 copper wires. And I almost had enough. Oh well. Uh, what I do know is that we're going to need to make 10 ones. So, I'm going to 
make some tin plates. And I might need more rubber, but I think I can use um, this the same way I can use um, the other kind of rubber. No, I can't. I gotta smelt that. Okay, so let me do that right now. So in the meantime, I can do that. Get two of those, just you know, for later. Um, so what we need to do now is we need a generator. And we need an RE battery, which is ten item casings, which is ten plates, smashed down into ten item casings with the hammer. That is halfway done. Two of those, two of those, uh, redstone and tin cable. No, two redstone. Yeah, two redstone. There we go. Okay. So we get a generator. Oops. Generator. We need an iron furnace. I don't have a furnace with me. So I'm going to sneak one of these. Where is gener Where's generator? I still need, what do I need? Iron plates. We get 11 of them. Um, yeah, so we should be good now. No, why aren't we good? Generator, I need an iron furnace, three iron plates, and an RE battery. Generator. Three iron plates, RE battery, generator, yay! Awesome. So we'll put you right there. Oh, that was weird. Okay, and then we can also fill you with coal. To um, well that's weird. It like goes away. Huh. Okay. Um. Anyway, we can fill it with coal, and it will create an internal buffer of I think three thousand, four thousand. Um, thank you to Opus on the very top, which is the mod that lets you see what item it is and what mod it's from. And also, you know, other stuff about it. So I think once this, yeah, once it's done, it doesn't use any more coal, which is good. Yeah, okay. Um, so next thing we need would be a macerator. We need a basic machine casing, which we can get. And then we need cobblestone and flint. Don't have any cobblestone. Good thing we're in a solid stone room. Um, okay, whatever. I'll fix that later. Macerator. No. What do we need? What are we missing? Uh oh. Don't break. Come on. Don't break on me. There we go. Okay. Macerator. Uh, electronic circuit. That is what we need. Uh, copper cable, redstone, and that. Copper cable, redstone, and we don't have any more of the things I need. Why don't I ever have any of the things I need? Okay. Hopefully this will work now. No, what did I do wrong? Two redstone. We'll get two. Because why not? Now, the moment we've been waiting for. Macerator. Yay. And it directly outputs to the macerator. Which is cool, I didn't know it did that. Alright, good to know, good to know. Maybe that was with the update, or maybe I'm just stupid and, you know. There's my iron plates. Damn. Okay. So, what next do we need? We have the macerator. We could go with a... Induction furnace would be a little expensive, considering... We don't have any of this stuff. But we could start making it. Um, yeah, no, okay. I don't know what I was trying to do there. Uh, so yeah, now we got rubber. 
and I'll put some of this stuff away that I don't need. Although I'm probably gonna need it later. Um, so now that we have a generator and a macerator, what we need to be working on now is how to automate it. I'm assuming, not really assuming, but it's kind of what I want to do next. So what we're going to be using are transfer pipes from extra utilities. So that is why I have the glass, the slabs, and the redstone so that I can make a bunch of these. And then I'm probably going to want hmm, probably mod sorting pipes, but we're going to need sorting pipes for that. Sorting pipes require glass. We don't have gold, but we have enough glass. Sorting pipe. Yes. Cool. That would be... <coughs> What do, oh, it was slabs that we don't have enough of. Okay. I thought I didn't have enough uh, glass. I was like, what the hell? So then we just do that. And then we get mod sorting pipes. So we're probably going to need five of those. Yeah. Okay. So, next on the list is taking these and making iron chests. Three, four, five. And doing this. Boom. There we go. Okay. Uh, we need to fix this. All fixed. Okay. Um, so, what I'm thinking is we have. I see two stuff on that wall. We have thermal expansion stuff on that wall, and then sorting on this wall. So, what we're going to be doing is using, oh, hole in the ground, that's cool. We're going to be using the extra utilities pipes to sort our things. Um, and I think this thing can output at the bottom. Actually, no, I need thermal expansion stuff for that. Thermal expansion, okay. So, we're gonna need steel. Do we need an induction smelter for? And I'm gonna bet you a lot of dollars that we don't have the stuff for it, which we don't, because we don't have any fares. So it looks like I have to go mining again. But I can tell you guys what my plan is. So we're going to be using mod sorting pipes. So what mod sorting pipes do are um, if we were to... Oh, I also need um, transfer nodes. Items. I mean, this is going to be fun. Can I use any sort of? No, I need it's either sorting filter or transfer pipe. Okay, and then ender pearl, which, wow, we can make ender pearls with ender pearl dust. Nice. Okay. Um, so we can't quite make that yet. But my plan is to have, um, or what the, uh, what the mod sorting pipes do is say there's a Minecraft item in here. There is an IC2 item in here. There is a Mine Factory Reloaded item in there. There is a, I don't have any other mods, Thermal Expansion in there. And extra utilities in there. So what will happen is we'll have, we'll eventually have this probably hooked up to a chest. Um, either in another room or I guess if we're feeling adventurous, we could probably pipe it. Hello. Might be able to pipe it to um, to that, to my house up there. But that would, we need a lot of speed upgrades to make that happen. So I don't think we're going to do that. Um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is kill the zombie. And then after I kill the zombie, I'm probably going to make another, um, 
another room somewhere, like maybe back behind this wall. That might seem like a good idea. Um, and with it being behind the wall, we are going to have another chest that will be kind of like a deposit chest. And what that's going to do is every item I put into the deposit chest is going to follow along the path probably to these chests. Um, unless I want to move these somewhere else, which I'm not really sure. Um, and what the mod sorting pipes will do is when the items travel through the pipes, they're going to hit each of these uh, sorting pipes. And they're going to say, hey, since there's an extra utilities item in here, every extra utilities item that hits this intersection is going to go up into this chest because there's already an extra utilities item in here. So this is basically an extra utilities only chest, unless I decide to put Minecraft items in here. And then all Minecraft items and all extra utilities items that I put into the sorting chest will end up in here. And same goes for thermal expansion, mine factory reloaded, IC2, and the Minecraft chest. Um, it's a, it's probably my favorite way to sort things rather than or before I guess getting a um, an AE system which is applied energistics which is like a imagine a computer you know you put items into the computer and then you use a monitor to search for the items and then when is this losing power no, it's not. okay um, yeah we'll we'll get into all that later um, applied energistics so you know we'd get a uh, an ME drive, which is like a, a, it holds a bunch of hard drives, which are these things: the the 4K storage, the 16K storage, uh, the 1K storage, and you know, there's a few others. There's a 64K storage and a 16K storage and stuff like that. So, yeah, we put those into the ME drive and hook up a. Where is it? Um, the ME controller, which is kind of like the, the power to it, um, and then we apply power to the ME controller, and we apply, or we put in like an access terminal or a crafting terminal. And then all items we put into the access terminal will get stored inside the ME drive. And let's say we have a 1K storage in the uh, ME drive. What the 1K storage will do is it can hold 63 different types of items and it can hold uh, 1024 items per type so like if I were to put in iron it could hold 1024 iron but it would take up one type and if it was any more than that it would take up another type I think it might not roll over like that um, but I'm not sure and then once you know once you fill up all the types then you obviously can't put anything else in there and you'll have to upgrade it to a 4K storage, which is right here. Um, and you get uh, another 63 types, but you can hold more stuff in each, um, in each type. Yeah, okay. Um, so that is what the ultimate goal is, you know, to get one of those. But for right now, um, let me figure out what is next for us to do, which might be Thomcraft. I'm not sure. Um, I think I might go with Thomcraft or Ars Magica because I simply don't have the stuff I need to, to continue this. Um, I don't think, at least. Um, yeah. Is we're gonna need um, a lot of stuff. We can get into more types of generators and then eventually a uh, nuclear reactor, which would be cool. Um, so, yeah, let me cut here, figure out what I want to do, and then when I come back, we'll start with the next project. All right. So what we are going to be doing now is um, completely actually forgot about this part. Um, it's actually my favorite part of starting a new world in this uh, mod pack thing. 
is uh, we're going to start with Tinker's Construct. So I went out, got a bunch of gravel, got a bunch of sand, and got a bunch of clay, and we're going to make grout. Should probably ship quick. Probably be better. And then what we're going to do with grout is we are going to smelt it up in the iron furnace, and we are going to get da -da -da -da, seared brick from Tinker's Construct. So what we're going to be doing with seared brick is we are going to be making not what I wanted to do. There we go. We're going to be making a smeltery. And what the smeltery is going to allow us to do is to make a bunch of cool weapons and pickaxes and stuff like that. Because as much as I love iron tools, I would really rather prefer to have something else. And I'd probably prefer to be able to name it. Um, which is something you can do, which is cool. And I don't know where my book went. I guess I don't have it. Okay, well, when you spawn in, you normally spawn with a book called Materials and You. And let me see if I can find it, how to make it. Materials and You. You need a blank pattern and paper. I don't have any paper. And it's turning nighttime. Cool. There's a creeper, but there is sugar cane over here. I need to get the sugar cane. Help me, ladies. Okay, got three. That's all I need. Don't hit me. Alright, Mr. Creeper. I don't know where you are, but. I really hope enemies can't come down elevators. That'd be really bad. Um, so this is getting close to being somewhat done, I guess. Um, well, there's the mighty smel smelting book. We're gonna get three pieces of paper. We're gonna do this, and I think. Hold on. How do we make blank pattern? Okay. So that that and blank pattern piece of paper materials in you okay so what the materials in you book tells us is uh, how to create uh, blank pattern stencil tables part crafters tool stations tool forges drying rack um, and talks about ore berries slime stuff punji stick barricades Seared brick. It tells you how to make seared brick and how to make grout, um, but I already knew how to do that. So, um, and also tell you how to make a book. Um, actually, is that? Well, I don't have enough paper, but that'd be really cool if that was like, if that's an actual book that you can make. So I think it's, it might be an actual book you can make. Should be very helpful. Um, so what we can do? Can you get the second book? Yeah, you can. Okay. Um, might actually want to make another one of these. Do that, get a blank pattern, another paper, and get volume three. Volume two, sorry. Um, so yeah, first one talks about how to make grout and seared brick. And then the second book you get, which if you put the first book into your crafting table, you can get the second one. But um, the second one is all about making tools and the different types of tools that you can make from the smeltery. So you get some cool tools like a hammer, an excavator, um, cleaver, battle axe. It's got its own bone arrow system, which is kind of cool. Um, and then it talks about the different tools and the, the traits and the mining speeds and stuff we'll get into later. Um, but what we're going to be doing now is, yeah, it'll talk about, um, all this stuff and pig iron. Apparently we can murder pigs and turn them into tools, which is kind of cool. Um, so. Okay, so we can get, how do we make seared brick? 
Yes, seared brick, yes. Yep, yep, seared brick. Yep. Okay, hold on. Mighty smelting. Smeltery controller. So what we need to do to make the smeltery is we need a controller, a seared tank, nine seared bricks, um, uh, more drains or faucets if we want them, and a casting table. So what we're going to do is we're going to do um, controller, smeltery controller, a bunch of seared bricks, which we have cooking right there. Almost, almost. There we go. I also need more coal, which doesn't really surprise me. Okay, so smeltery controller, which is you know the main part of the smeltery. Um, the next thing we need is seared tank, which is a bunch of seared bricks surrounded by glass which we don't quite have enough for at the moment. Can we turn this back into... No? Damn. Okay, well, can we use your bricks to make it? Probably not. So, while that cooks, let's go sleep and hopefully not die by the scary monsters of the night. And then maybe once we get this started, it will, um, the seared brick will be done. I hope. Alright. Down the ladder we go. And outside to the scary, scary mana creepers and possible skeletons and other fun things. Um, so we're going to be putting the smeltery probably back here. Seems like as good a place as any. Got some tin ore. This is going to be fun to hollow out. See, this is why I need a hammer from Tinker's Construct. Because the hammer can break or can mine in a 3x3 three three pattern which is really 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 cool and really 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 helpful and what we're gonna hopefully oh, stupid gravel nobody likes you gravel I already mined like 400 piece oh great now we're up into a cave how lovely um Yes, so we need a hammer because it'll you know, make it a lot easier to mine. And what I'm ultimately going to be trying to do is making a pickaxe, or is make a pickaxe that can. And this will be fine. Okay. Yeah, so I want to make a pickaxe that can mine obsidian. Um, so I don't necessarily have to find diamonds right away. Um, although, it probably wouldn't really matter that much. Invalid structure, yeah, I know. Let's see if I can do this right. Invalid structure, so I need the smeltery drain and a seared tank filled with lava. Get a seared tank. A faucet. How do I make a faucet? Is that just this? Yes, it is. Alright, cool. And then smeltery drain. Nope, that's casting basin. Smeltery drain. There we go. All is good now. So, can do the sear tank there. Do that there with that. And I have to bump all this down. Oh, 
Oh well. Um, no, not what I wanted. Still need lava. Which will be an adventure and a half. And we might also need more seared brick. You got one, two, three, four, five, six more. Which I might have to make more grout for. Which I do have to make more grout for, which means I have to go find more sand and clay. Which is fantastic. So let me go do that, and then I'll be back in a minute when that's when the, the smeltery thing is done. Alright, so after a seemingly endless search for clay and gravel and sand, I finally got it done. Um, I always mess this up. <laughs> Doesn't matter what, either, either I'm, whether I'm recording or whether I'm just doing this normally, um, I always seem to mess this up. And I actually, son of a bitch, I forgot a casting table. And I don't think I have any more smelting. No, I don't. Cool. Well, that's something I'm going to have to do probably next time because it has hit the point in the video where I wish to stop talking to you and myself and all of the people who can probably hear me, which is like three, maybe two? I don't know. Um, yeah, so I filled this up with lava. I found a ravine uh, there, ravine with mine shaft, and then there's a spider spawner I marked. Um, so yeah, there's a cool ravine over there that I got a bunch of um, this ore actually from. So yeah, I got the smelter working, and um, what we're going to be doing next episode is getting a pickaxe, a hammer, a uh, probably a bunch of fun stuff. Like, let's see, what do I want to make? I probably, I don't, okay, so I'm going to make a pickaxe. I'm going to make a broadsword, which is the equivalent of, you know, a normal sword. Um, I am going to make a hammer, possibly a lumber axe, I'm not sure. I'm going to make an excavator, and I think that's actually it. Um, I'm thinking I want to make alumite pick. This is a mining speed of 8 and can mine cobalt, which is the highest tier of mining. Um, it might be difficult to get alumite, though. I don't think it tells me how to do that in here, though. No, okay. It tells me in the first book how to get alumite. Does it not tell me? No, it doesn't. Second book. This book. Will you tell me? Yes, it does. Alumite. Made from 5 aluminum, 2 iron, and 2 obsidian, which means I have to go find diamonds or find another way to get obsidian. Um, yeah, so that'll be a fun time. I also kind of want to make pig iron, but I don't know what, uh, what speed and stuff pig iron is. Come on, obsidian. Um, how do I make pig iron? Pig iron is one iron blood. So I have to put an entity in there, and I have an emerald, I think. Um, didn't bring it with me. I think it's in my other house. And it's nighttime. So yes, I have an emerald, um, <clears throat> along with some Thumbcraft stuff, some Mars Magica stuff, and Tinker's Construct, Orberry, and Aluminum, and Safari Nets, which I might actually use to get the blood, which would be cool. Um, so yeah, I'll figure all that out for next episode, but um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and thank you for 
you know, understanding the time difference between the last episode and this one. And I'm not sure what I'm going to name this one, because it's not really episode one, because it's the second episode, but I also haven't made a second episode, and this is like episode one of starting over. But, I don't know, I'll figure that out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.